So in this course, we are going to be building a place kitten clone. Now, if you're not sure what this is, uh, when you are building out a site, you perhaps sometimes want an image that is a specific width and a specific height, but you want it to be interesting enough that it makes your design look fairly good. So in this case, what we can do with this place kitten site is go ahead and pass in a width, pass in a height, and this will give us a random image of a cat and it will do it at that specific width and height. So as you just saw just a moment ago, we have this here fully working. We can go ahead and provide any width and any height, and this will go ahead and pull out a random image for us, and it will go ahead and give it to us, of course, with that specific width and specific height. So the reason that I chose to build this project is we're looking at a few things. We're looking at the Silex framework. So this is a really nice micro framework based on Symfony. And what we're also going to be looking at is database support to pull out a random image from a list of images that we have in a database table. And of course, we're going to be looking at caching. So we have this really, really quick. So you can see that uh, once I first request this, we've got about 197 milliseconds. But when I re-request this, we go right down. So things are super fast. And of course, the last thing we're actually looking at is the actual image manipulation itself. So there's a few things to do here. It's not too difficult, but if you are wanting to get into using Silex, we're going to cover a few core concepts that will give you a really good idea as to how to start working with this framework. And at the end of the course, you'll have built something really fun that you can perhaps go ahead and deploy it and use if you want to. So that is pretty much it. Let's head over to the next part and get Silex set up and get this very quickly built out.